Unit Nine: To Beard or Not to Beard, May Sixteenth. It's no secret that most women have better fashion sense than men. However, men do have one special way to add flair to their appearance that's rarely available to women: the way in which they shape their facial hair. Shaving dates back to prehistoric times. As archaeologists have discovered stone shaving tools from the Neolithic period, yet it was the ancient Egyptians with their obsessive grooming habits who transformed beard trimming into an art form. It was stylish for high-ranking Egyptian leaders to shave their faces, but keep a patch of hair on their chins. To spice things up, they would often dye their beards red or brown. Occasionally. They would even weave gold threads into their facial hair. Shaving became such a symbol of civilization in Egyptian culture that anyone who didn't shave was considered a barbarian. Thus, wealthy Egyptians normally kept a barber on their household staff. In ancient Rome, shaving caught on and became a more complicated issue, as it was associated with one's personality. Almost all Roman men were clean-shaven because a long beard was regarded as being filthy, messy, and sloppy. In the Middle Ages, beards reached their peak with the rise of the Vikings. Beards became a symbol of a man's strength and his ability to survive in the wilderness. In the 18th century, some doctors even advocated beards for health benefits, suggesting they could serve as protection against germs. And air pollution. Over time, an interesting culture devoted to beards has arisen. Odd accessories like the mustache cup and spoon were invented. Both feature special trays for one's mustache to rest on, keeping it dry while liquids are being consumed. An artist named Incredi Beard has created an Instagram profile featuring hundreds of photos of himself. Shaping his lengthy beard into unique patterns—it's a clear sign that beards are back in business.